on the two players you drafted, uh, can you just describe what kind of three-point shooting the ability they have? I mean, you see some mm -hmm. numbers that are yeah. concerning, but then you know, uh, I think Musa in the in the FIBA World Cup qualifying shot quite well from three points. So, how do you see them affecting the whole offense? Well, I think both guys are pretty dynamic offensive players. Uh, we've mentioned before, you know, the size and the skill level that they've been playing at. You know, Youp specifically. Uh, Greg mentioned the three-point shooting. I mean, we're, we've scouted them enough and, and you know, evaluated, you know, some areas where maybe we think we can make some gains for them. Um, you know, shooting obviously is at a premium at this league, and we think both guys will be able to contribute in that way as, as well as others. What about their uh, defensive ability? Are, it sounds like you've been scouting our guys with a little, little smile there. So, um, look, I think it's, there's a, again, it's a transition for anybody that comes, you know, to the NBA, whether it's from Europe or whether it's from college and so forth. And, you know, I, I will say both both young men have been playing at a high level um, against, you know, very good competition. So they've been playing against some of the elite basketball players in the world. So, um, and this is going to be another step up for them, you know. Um, but the international game is, is, is something that. You know, obviously, I admire and Kenny admires, and and you know we've uh, we've followed them closely. And does it seem like also it's it's kind of a system fit, and it's it's in keeping with that whole mode that you've been building the organization in. You know, everybody we look at, we would hope that has some you know dynamic to their game as a system fit. You know, offensively, defensively, upside, talent, you name it, all the little characteristics that we look for. Um, and I think we think both those two, um, you know, gentlemen, again, will be a, a good fit, not only, again, on the court, but off the court. Do you think these guys can come over and make an impact at the NBA level? It's a whole new game, very young players. Mm -hmm. how, how long do you think that could take for them to help you guys win? You know, I, you never quite know when guys are coming over. And again, that's from whether it's coming from the U.S. and college system or whether it's coming over from Europe. But uh, again, I think those guys have played at a high level. You know, there's a level of maturity with both of them. The, 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 some of the experiences they've gone through um, that will certainly help and, and, um, and guide them with a, the, the, through this transition to, to Brooklyn. What were your biggest takeaways in just talking to them, like before even selecting them in the draft? Um, their willingness to, to learn, get better, develop, and their competitive fire.